Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian, and in this course, we'll be diving into the wonderful world of iOS testing. As an iOS developer, or any type of developer for that matter, you need to test your code. Sure, testing your app by just running it and playing it with it works up to a point, but at some point, you'll want to do automated testing of your code to ensure that it works correctly. This is where unit tests and their counterpart UI tests come to play. If you have been testing your code manually and are wondering why should I even bother to write tests, well, here are a few reasons. First, writing tests allow you to automate your testing, letting you run your tests as many times as you like, thus saving you time. If you manually test your code, you might forget a step or two or three or four or five when testing. An automated test suite will run through every test every single time. Running your tests after code changes also ensures that your code works and that no new bugs or regressions were introduced as part of the code changes. Writing tests also allow you to see your code from another perspective and can help you optimize your code. Written tests also allow other developers who come after you to understand how the app is supposed to function, thus acting as a guide to your code. This series of videos will show you how to do end-to-end -end testing for iOS. In this first section, you'll learn the basics of unit testing, how to set up a project for unit testing, and how to write your own very first unit tests. You'll get to more advanced stuff in later sections of this video series. Now, throughout this series, instead of using a basic demo app, we'll use what could be a real-world application and run you through testing every part of that application as you would for any of your own apps. That should, in turn, show you how you can write tests of your own on any app that you develop. Okay, with all that said, let's get testing.